in the area. This week, tickets are back Guys, what do you think? We're, we're watching some Disney news, and of course, as everyone else, we're shocked about the annual pass program that's been stopped. For Disneyland. For Disneyland, yeah. And um, I was just wondering. I'm, I'm so afraid. We have something here in Holland. Uh, I have... Um, I have a pass for traveling by train. You know, I first I got it from my uh, from my work. They used to pay 100% for it. And then we were going half-half. And then they reduced it to almost nothing. And then the train company itself came with different programs where you had to choose between are you traveling weekends? Are you traveling throughout the week? Are you traveling through rush hour? And all that. So... Depending on which options you choose, you, you would have to pay more or a little bit less. So rush hour uh, uh, is, of course, a lot more than during the week after rush hours, which is uh, more than during the, uh, the weekend. So I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if Disneyland would come back with this kind of uh, animal pass program. Uh, uh, yeah, program. Something like that. I don't know. What do you guys think? I haven't heard this from anyone. This is just my own theory that I'm throwing out here. But, uh, I mean, what else is there? I mean, what options are there to play with? It's either the way uh, it was or this. It's just this. Because what you have now, I mean, it's not attractive for Disney. You pay one price and you are there on weekend, during the week, rush hours, just the whole, the whole day, 24 hours, if you want. And they're not earning any money on you. And because most people are locals in Disneyland, they just go in there, grab a drink, and then they stay on there the whole stay in the park. So they're not spending money. So something's got to give. Anyway, let us know what you guys think. So with everything changing at Disney, Disney World, or at least Disneyland, but also at Disney World, we... Um, decided this morning to dig up the attic and bring down all that we've gathered throughout the years, you know, stuff that you get when you book a Disney trip. And we're going through it to see what we can add to the table, take out, add take something. Take it to the next level. We're gonna take it to the next level. And what we're trying to do now is have mainly in there stuff that are old, you know, stuff like uh, uh, park maps that show different stuff that aren't there anymore right now. So, And it's funny, you guys. So many stuff, so many memories come flooding back when you go through these, these papers. It's crazy. We are so happy that we've uh, held on to all of this. Mike just... Um, uh, he just held up the Magical Express envelope that you get. When you check out, you know, when you check out and they have you uh, on, uh, set you on the Magic Magical Express, that day, your checkout day, they give you uh, this envelope with uh, your seat number and time of departure and all that. And of course, Magical Express isn't there anymore, so. Wow, it, it is. Today. It is now, but it's not going to be there anymore. Um, then we, we found also uh, some um, promotion stuff. For the Disney Park shop, for the Disney shop, the, the online Disney shop. And I was just telling Mike there, some of us sometimes think that it's always been there, but it hasn't. The Magic Band, the... Look, there's another one. Oh, there's another one. Yeah. Oh, but then we have them with two different designs. Yeah. See, this is what I mean. Here's the other one. And there's this the is... other one. Yeah. They're different. See? This is awesome. This is history already that I'm holding here. It's going to be about $1,000 on eBay. <laughs> Dig deep, you guys, if you want to have these. <laughs> Don't be shy. I'm not shy to say Dig deep, show us the money, and we might send you these. No, we're going to be holding on to them ourselves. Uh, this is only the, the half that we've been through so far. We still have these two that we need to open up, see what's on there. But... We hope you guys have gathered this too. Of course, we haven't been uh, going to Disney World for years. We started going since 2014 and ever since we held on to everything that we could get our hands on, literally. So, um, yeah. A receipt? 
even a receipt. If you like to have it, oh, but it's thermal paper. One of the things that I really, really loved is this. Welcome back to the, the work family. When we went back to the sci-fi. And me and Mike were just saying that this is probably something they won't be doing anymore. And it's just these little things that really touch you. I mean, look, we're, we're still holding on to it. And it's so dear to us that uh, it's going to be part of our table. Something we would like to see, every, uh, you know, every day. It's these things. And I don't know who's steering the wheel at Disney, the Disney company, but they clearly have no social skills. Oh, look, it's a transportation voucher. For the oh, yeah. yeah. Look. We have so many stuff for the Magical Express. Love it. I love it. Anyway, guys, just a little something that I wanted to film. It's going to end up maybe as an in-between video or a bonus. or I just had to share it with you. Give you maybe some ideas, especially now those of you that miss Disney like we do. And speaking of the Magical Express, look. It's another one. It's another one. This is the letter that you get. Uh, a transportation notice. Yeah, it is dated. What year no, it isn't. No. Oh, that's crazy. It isn't. Resort airline check-in service openly daily from 5 a.m. to 1 p.m. This is... Oh, no. Anything on the back? No. But I, I love this. I love that we... This is an original. Here we have the lost and found. If you guys, those of you that have been watching us for years, you guys enjoy that adventure of me and Mike trying to get my phone back that I lost. It's just, it, it just, it, it went just like that sliding of my hands while we were sitting in the doom buggy, haunted mansion. So, um, yeah, all kind of stuff, all kind of memory. There is, there are many memories attached to each and every one of these pieces that we have here. It's so crazy. Check out. Yeah, we also found this one, this this card that you get. Today I, I serviced your room and hope you're pleased and comfortable. Uh, this is from Epcot, the opening ceremony that they stopped doing for a couple of years now. It just fell on me and I had, I had to save it. I had to take it with me. And then of course these quests Around Pirate of the Caribbean, yeah, right? I like those. Yeah, you're yeah. not gonna get these. I don't know if you still have them. Yeah, we do love these. I just love how it's made. You could just tell that, you know, they spent a little bit more time on the design. And the inauguration of Festival of the Arts, 2017. We were there. But we got the poster. And we got, we got that poster. We bought it actually. In, we had it printed. We had it printed, yeah, that's it. We had and it printed sent, uh, sent home. from the art shop. I don't think it's there anymore. Was no, it the art shop in Epcot yeah, or not the one in Disney uh, uh, Springs? No, Epcot. Okay. Yeah. This is something that we got with the Magic Band. Also not something that they don't give you this anymore. They now give you one of these cheap thingies. So all in all, a lot of memories. zip dee doo -da, which of course everybody by now knows knows that it will be going away. So a lot of stuff you guys, a lot of memories. Making memories. Making memories, making memories. Yeah, it's nice. I do love Disney, we're not ashamed to say it. I mean, sometimes I could just yell at whomever is in charge right now, but uh. Bob, listen, Bob. Listen, Bob, what are you doing, man? You're ruining it. Oh, well. So, guys, this is the new table. This is the new setting. See? There are many things in this table that are very, very dear to us. Many things. This one from Tina and Bess. This is one that we got. This is the only thing that we got that's in here that's not from us. But another thing that's also very dear to us is this one. The previous mayor of Main Street. 
We've had a couple of encounters with that guy and he was the sweetest. So we hope, whatever you are, Christopher George Weaver, we hope that you find happiness, joy and peace. And thank you for all the laughs. He's the one that uh, called me Black Beard. So I am now going by my Christopher George Weaver name, which is Black Beard when I'm in Magic Kingdom. <laughs> yeah, such a nice guy. So sorry we lost him.